Ali hope to good ilau gavin ublumi God no near katin angadjuk tibluta. We're really happy that you've joined us today. May God bless you as we worship together. Today, the fourth Sunday of Advent, we are lighting the fourth candle. The first Sunday of Advent, we lit the candle of hope. Then, on the second Sunday of Advent, we lit the candle of peace. On the third Sunday of Advent, we lit the candle of joy. Today, the fourth Sunday of Advent, we light the fourth candle, which is the candle of love. And then normally on Christmas Eve, the center candle would be lit, but we're going to light that today. And that is known as the Christ candle. Today we lit the fourth candle, the candle of love. And God is love. And God sent Jesus into the world to show us his love. And we remember this especially at Christmas time when Jesus came into the world as a baby. He grew to be a man. He ministered to people. 
And because of his great love for us, he died on the cross for our salvation. And he wants us to come to him and to acknowledge him as our Lord and Saviour, because he is love and he wants us to show his love to others through our lives. The fifth candle represents Christ, Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And he wants us to shine as lights for him wherever we are in the darkness of this world. Let us shine for Jesus. Tafumani Godim Koviakuta Uvaptinun. Naunia Pakluk Gadim Anictuani Tilivangmago Nunamun Tafumuna Uvagut Inutkubluta. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. O God, God Gigiagiptigin Kilangmik. Kenigiak to Gomagiptigin Ublame Agluglutta Oma Tiptini. Kengap to God Ilingnun. Kulani twenty two. Kengagluta. Atangom Kengautanik. Angutik put. Kilang me to tin. Atkin Nagogiaoli. Atango Venkai. Ihumatin Tamalioglid. Nunami. Kilang me it to tin. Ublumi Nakihapting Nick. I talk to God. When I could take ting the glow, a homagionier glutin. Over good talk, a homalok take if we got to gain. When I kill your boot. O talk town egg moon, he would let tie looter. Two pilag men are now take to good. Irvin, peauty gapkin, a tango ving, hakoging nak, calm an egg glow, nunga light a moon, time monger. Amen. Koi hongnek oblok nutak tikin man. Koi agigip tikin angu tik put kilang mi tutin. Unuk tid logo unangwak hak pagapta hinik huta obloglo nutak tikin man. Pip kai lutin oblomi ikang igit tamaita overgot atvinak koblogit Kib gajugut kubluta piblutin taima unukpan koyaging ni agiptigin kangohok himait to make hangi Jesus Christ ikon ataniptigon. Amen. Gadim okauhinganin lukasim nakatatu vasinga one min fourteen man. Kulani one five nine. Tafumani Atanek Pak Augustus Pitquiuk Inuit Nunanitun Tamaini Nanyak Tau Kublugit Atingit Titigak Tau Lutik Taimalivaktuk Quirinius Atanio Tilogo Syriamin Inuit Tamangmik Iklukag Vimingnun Aud laptun nauniak tau kublugit. Joseph taut iglukag vingmin. Nazareth min, Galilee mitumin. Aquiuk judeamun, Davidim iglukag vianun. Bethlehem mik, tau yauyumun. Joseph, Davidim, kitungainun ilauhami. Nauniak tau kublugo, Aquiuk. Nuliak Hangalo, Mary Tamna, Hingailek Tidlugo. Dakanit Tidlugiglo, Angnam Enivak Hanga Tikinman. Nutiganik Tuk, Angunmik, Ahin Kalik Kumun, Nemegamiuk, Nutakani, Negutim Negivianun, Ilia, Iglo Hinik Tagvik. Inik Hainman, Tapkunanga Tafumani Nunami Nategnamitun Im Nailgit Im Nailachion Unoktid Logo Ahin Atangum Ihaugalingata Hagiak Vigiain Atangum Lo Kamingata 
Kalmatinmatic Ekitap Pyoktun, E Halgogumlo, Okudlau Tiyain, Ekutai Luhi, Onukti Gatfi, Alunok Pyoktumip, Toha Noktohak Inungnun Tamainun, Ublumi Davidim Iklukagviani Anauji Animan Atanek Christi Yoyok Tamna, Imatun Nanya Kutaginiak Tahi, Katkangiak Fiok, Nutaganuak Nimak Himayok, Kalikumik, Nadlaug Luni, Nagutin Nagiviani, Tajai Naglo, Ihalgulmi, Ihalgulgit, Amigait Piaktun, Gardmun, Koyo Hokaktaoyun, Okakotik, God. Kingiki yawyumi na gogi yawli, nuna milo inuit na makpaglutik, gaudim kowil tigiparim. Una gaudim okauhia. The Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to verse 14. In those days, Syria Augustus issued a law that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census took, that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth. You're going to do that again, are you? Take two. The Gospel of St. Luke. Chapter 2, reading from verse 1 to verse 14. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a law that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was committed to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people on whom his favour rests. This is God's word. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord. 
Jesus, atani gilad put. Uine kute ekto kau yun inu inu na mi no tanguk ti tau yu kau yun uped lo ti lo ji. It's so good to be with you again for this online service. It is indeed a wonderful time of the year. Why? Because Christmas is coming and a lot of preparation is happening. But at this time of the year, it's good for all of us to just slow down a little and to think about this question. What does Christmas mean to you? What does Christmas mean to me? Presents are being bought. Presents are wrapped and put under the tree. All the decorations are in place. And there's a sense of excitement, especially among children, as they begin to wonder as to what they will be receiving on Christmas morning. Last week I spoke to you about the gift of peace, peace that we need in our world, in our country, in our homes, but especially in our lives. Another wonderful gift that we need, again it's a gift that we can't buy or wrap up or put under the tree or open on Christmas morning, is the gift of joy. The gift of joy was the theme of the third week in Advent, the week we have just come through. There's a Christmas carol that I really enjoy to sing. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Why? Because just in that one line, there is the message of the wonder of the Christmas miracle. The words remind me of the message to the shepherds that we read in Luke's Gospel, chapter 2 and verse 10. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. Good news. We need good news in our lives, don't we? We need good news all the time. But a message of great joy, not just for me, not just for you, but for all people, wherever they are. Good news, of great joy for all people. When I think about the shepherds, it's wonderful that God would make this message known to them. They were just ordinary, hard-working, uneducated men who would be sat on a Judean hillside, minding their own business, looking after the sheep. It wasn't a particularly rewarding job and it certainly wasn't financially uh, rewarding in any way at all. And yet, on that night, over 2,000 years ago, they were to receive an amazing message. And when they received that message, they hurried to Bethlehem, to the stable, because they wanted to see if what they had heard was really true, to see if it had really happened. Well, they went and they saw in a crib a baby 
Jesus. And they were filled with amazement that the message that they had received was incredibly true. And from that moment on, their lives were never to be the same again. Just listen to these words from verse 17 in Luke's Gospel, chapter 2. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And then in verse 20, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Ordinary, uneducated, working men, they received an amazing message, a message of good news, a message of joy, and it was for all people. Can you imagine with me the deep pleasure and joy that these shepherds experienced? Well, at this Christmas season and in all the days that will follow, we need joy. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord Jesus in our lives. When all around us there's so much darkness, the weather is cold, and COVID-19 is causing so many disruptions in our lives, it is so easy to be joyless and to say, I don't have anything to be joyful about. Well, we do. Think again with me of the shepherds on that Judean hillside, doing what they were familiar with, doing something that they would do night after night after night, watching sheep, protecting their sheep from wild animals. And suddenly, as they were minding their own business, probably talking amongst themselves, an angel came, took them completely by surprise, and they received a joy like they had never experienced before. It was indeed good news. And my prayer is that at this Christmas time, all of us will have our lives and our homes open to the good news of the Lord Jesus, that they, we will know great joy wherever we are. I hope that we will know the peace of the Lord Jesus, that we will know of the, the hope and the love of the Lord Jesus. It is indeed a most wonderful time of the year and so is your heart is your life open and ready to receive the joy the peace the hope and the love that Jesus came to bring into this world the shepherds looked into that manger and there in a crib was a baby and they knew and recognized who he was and they wanted to tell others of what they had seen and heard. May your life be captured by the wonder of the miracle of God coming into this world to show us how much he loves us in the birth of his Son, our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Kenga Gluta Kulani 72 Kengaunek Atenek Ayokhai Tutin Angutik Put Nungolaitok Inokangigit Atangovingit Piumayatin Tamangme Atangovingit Kublugit and in nun Jesus Christ mun, nagogok tid lugit ta maita havalengmata inungni, inokangigit inokatigit kublugit, angriak tigihimait tumik, kakogolunin inokangigit 
angu ya tigyo ni ya hima kublu git. Ati nigi yu mablu tin ki himi. Ape gigi gip tigin ati nip tigun. Jesus Christ tigun. Amen. Kulani 74. Kengau nek. Ati nek. Ako gingnin. Takup kaguk. Ako nap tingni. Ikayuk kubluta. When I could tip digun, kihimi, Ukumalio Kalawa Huta, Maligi up tingnik, up kutingni, Ikayuk tik hangnik, pigupta kihimi, Anujao homo yogot, Jesus Christ ikun, Atanip tigun. Amen. Kulani 35. No khativot, ino khativot piblogit. Atenek, hanyo gavin, tamap tingnik. Ili jau, ili jau yau yogot, ika yoktigot, uva got, nagogi koblogit, ino khativot. No khativot lo ovaptitun, no khativot piblogit. Kengak tugot, tamap ta, ino khativot kogluta, nagoyomik. No nap tingni, kobi kot tigi lutalo, uvap tingni. Pit kuyatin, malik tak hau kublugit. Inuktidlu, inuktidlu, nayuktik kublugit. Ekuk himaik to make timer, apakigiptigin. Amen. O God our Father, at this wonderful time of the year, we thank you for the message given to the shepherds on that hillside so long, long ago, a message of joy, a message of good news that was for all people. And we pray at this Christmas time that people in our communities and in our homes would know of the joy of the Lord Jesus. We thank you that you came to live in this world full of love and full of truth. And that we can know that truth, we can know that love, we can know that joy and peace in our lives by opening our lives to you. We pray, Lord Jesus, for our families, for our friends and our neighbours, that together we would be able to celebrate the miracle and the wonder of Christmas, free from anxieties, free from worry, free from anything that could cause disruption in our lives and in our homes. Oh, we pray, Lord Jesus, for the anointing, for the coming of your Holy Spirit upon all of us at this Christmas time. We pray especially for those who are sick, for those who are lonely, for those who feel discouraged, that they would be able to come alongside someone who will be able to say to them, I love you because Jesus loves you. That we would be able to search out those who are feeling unloved and unlovable and again to let them know of the joy and of the peace and of the hope and that your love has brought into this world. Oh, we thank you. We praise you, O oh God our Father, that we can know amidst so much darkness all around us that you are the light of the world and that you came to break up the darkness that is in people's lives through the light of the good news of your joy, of your peace, of your love and your hope. And so we thank you and praise you that we can celebrate this wonderful time of the year knowing that you are the same yesterday, today and forever, and that we can say with a loud and a clear voice that the joy of the Lord is my strength. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Before we sing our last Christmas carol this morning, we're going to show you a short video. This was filmed a number of years ago when we lived in Haynes Junction, Yukon, and Jeff was the minister at St. Christopher's Anglican Church. We got our children together one Christmas, and 
decided that we would film the Christmas story. We were able to use someone's farm and they had a barn that we could use. And so as you watch this and you see the children acting out the Christmas story, we pray that it will bring to life again that Jesus came into the world to because he loves us and because he wants us to be his children, his people.
Tata Aklang Night to Galawak Munagi Lugit O Matihi Ikuma Hilo Jesus Sim Ilihima Ninga Gun Kove Kuta Gudlo Godim Ayuk Haitum Angu Tipta Aningata Anangnim Nagoyum Naguk Tiktininga Elik Fingni Himali Taimunga Amen and The peace of God it passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Christmas me. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone. everyone.